All right, this is gonna be kind of an unboxing of the Lenovo EMC 2 squared, whatever, the PX, the PX6 300D. It is a six bay uh, network attached storage device. I don't know, I've, I've never used one of these before. I ordered this from Parallel Miner. Uh, I think I got a pretty good price for it. Uh, it is the six terabyte configuration, not diskless. It's the six terabyte configuration. It comes with six terabytes, uh, three two terabyte drives. Uh, I paid 240 for this. Um, I, uh, that's pretty good from what I've seen. Six bays, um, you know, four bay NAS disk four bay diskless network attached storage devices. We're going for, you know, 150 on eBay. And if you want Synology or QNAP, that'll be way more. Um, but this is refurbished, I guess. This is um, refurbished from Parallel Miner. But let's see, um, let's see. This is gonna be at a weird angle because I'm um, doing this off to the side here. Audio might be kind of messed up. I'm not showing my, yeah, it's an invoice. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the box. PX6300D in the six terabyte configuration. This is, um, let's see. True image, uh, manual, quick start guide, personal cloud. Actually, if you're gonna buy this, uh, some some Lenovo things like the personal cloud are defunct now. They actually don't work because Lenovo stopped supporting this. But it still works as a network attached storage drive. There's warnings. Cables, Ethernet, screws, Let's see if we can get this out of this weird angle. Dang. on its face right now, I think. Yes. That's the door. All right. Can I do a wide angle? Yeah. All right, that works. Wow, that looks stupid. That works. All right. Jeez. Looks like a CSGO. Turn the CSGO FOV up. This is awful. All right. So we open that. In there? I'm not really sure. Alright. So we have in there Seagate desktop hard drive 2000. Alright. So we can see the device. And they should all be the same in each. As you know, as that warning said, all of them have to be the same speed and capacity. Yeah, all right. 
Uh oh. Oops. Right. We should see nothing in these. Nothing that. And wow. Nothing in that. Alright. Let's peel off that protective sticker. Whoops. Is that clamping? That, it's a magnet. I don't know about that. That looks, that looks quite flimsy. Let me see if I can get kind of a shot of that. Oh, geez. Sticky pad coming off. I don't know if that's... I don't know if... Oh. Uh-oh. That's a magnet pad or something? I don't know if I can get that in the shot. Okay. Well, all right. That's just maybe a little bug. Fresh boot, never booted up before. Supposedly, I mean, it probably has, but they just factory reset it or something. 75%. Let me get my Ethernet cable or something. Network is unavailable. Setup is required. The device is configuring storage. I don't need to read. So if we click down, it should say all the messages for 2 p.m. Is it? No, it's an hour, and it thinks it's 24 p.m. Let's get a network connected. All right, so let's go and set that up. Heard something. Great administrator. Okay, probably don't want to show this on. Let's go through the guided tour, shall we? Access content. Explorer shows Vince Nass under network. All right, we'll, we'll test that out. Back up, using file history. Copy jobs. Media library, yeah, that's that's a perk of this. No, I. I I really try not to pirate things. That is a Lenovo EMC link. That might be, that genuinely might be a thing that is um, defunct, like just deprecated, not not in use anymore. I'll have to, I'll see, I'll see. Um, personal cloud, now that is, that is not being used. I'm. I'm very sure Lenovo shut that down. I'm very sure they shut that down. Done. And you can download client. You can media, whatever. And yeah, there it is. All right. Content Explorer, I don't have any support system status. Let's, let's view system status. We might as well. 556. Two gigabytes of memory, and you can actually upgrade the memory in this. Temperature, fan, yeah, that's all fine. 
Let's see, let's go under network. Well, all right, thanks. Well, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Okay, just to recap, this was the Lenovo PX6 300D network attached storage device. Um, it can hold six hard drives. I think the max capacity is 32 terabytes. Um, and I did check um, the dashboard after updating the software. The dashboard has a lot of, like, dead links. It, it just links to nowhere because it's trying to link to Lenovo's uh, NAS website. doesn't exist anymore. So um, really consider that if you, if you buy any Lenovo network-attached storage device in the future made by iOmega, consider that because they're a, a big part of the functionality of this device is gone. Um, because Lenovo shut it down, but it works with Windows, it, uh, SMB works, Media Server works, so just keep that in mind. Hope you enjoyed the video, have a good day.